Now that your main building columns are in place, it's time to install your sidewall girts. Girts are the secondary members that will make up the walls of your building. It's important to note that in this example, we are using Worldwide Steel Building's web truss columns and roof trusses with 6-inch purlins on the roof and 3 and 5 8 inch girts on the walls. If your building kit has different components than noted, the dimensions you need to use may vary from this video. Please verify the dimensions with your W drawings. When installing girts along the sidewall of your building, make sure that you have the correct girt for each location. Your W drawings and ship list will show you which girts should be used and where they should be placed in your building. On the galvanized secondary framing list, you will have the location or use for each secondary member. For the sidewall girts, locate the necessary secondary members that indicate they are for RSW, right sidewall, or LSW, left sidewall, that pertain to the sidewall you are working on. If the girts are identified only as girts at sidewalls, then these girts are used at both sidewalls. If you have an overhead door framed opening in your walls, then the length of the girts necessary to install will be shown on your W drawings. Refer to our overhead door framing installation video for additional information. It's a good idea to check the length of the girt prior to install. In our example, each sidewall bay is 8 foot 0 inches, and we have no overhead door openings in the walls. Therefore, we are using the girts that are 8 foot 0 inches in length. Referencing our W1 drawing, we know that the center line of our column is 6 and 5 eighths inches from the edge of the foundation at the end wall. Measure 6 and 5 eighths inches from the end of your girt to identify the center line of the column and make a mark. Once marked, place your girt on top of the pre-welded girt clips on the columns. Because our building has an interior frame, the other end of the girt will stop at the center line of the frame at grid 2. On your corner column, located at grid 1 in our example, install two number 12 tech screws through the girt and into the welded clip on the column. On the frame at grid 2, because the girt stops at the center line of the column, you are only required to install two number 12 tech screws, as shown here. Continue installing girts using this method until all sidewall girts have been installed. Once completed, it's time to install your windrod bracing for the sidewalls. We'll see you in the next video.